Nigeria that they held Hobbes. I want you to note that they held Hobbes. Where did they get these Hobbes from? The Bible records they held Hobbes given to them by God. And sang the song of Moses. And the servant of God. And the song of the Lamb. Are you with me, church? Are you with me? I want to remind you one thing. Singing, or rather music, is an important part of the worship service. There is nothing that moves my heart so much. I may not know how to sing. Like some of you do. Because you cannot be gifted in everything. But I appreciate the place of music in worship. I don't want to go to the fine details. Whether you are supposed to dance when you are singing, whether you are supposed to do what, it's not my business to judge. Because after all, God gives you the gifts. Yes, you are not a singer. 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 Yes, and this is the atmosphere of heaven. You know, there's a lot of singing in heaven. And everything we receive in this world, when we get to heaven, including reading the Bible, do you think we'll be reading the Bible in heaven? We will be reading it. If somebody writes you a letter and tells you that I love you, you will come, I will come and we will meet sometime. And then that person comes. And then will you continue reading the letter? But you will see me when I come and you are with this person. So even reading the letter of the Bible will cease in heaven because we are reading about that God that we are soon meeting we are reading about him now so when we will see him when we will be with him we will not have any business with reading the Bible because the Bible tells us about God it tells, it tells us how he is loved so when we will be with him we will be holding his love Practically, because we will be with him. This letter has been about God. It's about God. So we will be with him. We will not need it. We will not need it. What we will need is singing. Amen. 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 Singing Amatera Gosogotera is the ultimate experience of the saved. Eke ne kyoro kere yo kyabali ba toriwe. Embwa ye kyoro kere kyabali ba toriwe. When you study the Bible, I can open the Bible very closely. I can open the Bible kegi mabuya. Right in the Old Testament, ocha kira se emu menkoro. It is filled with a lot of singing. Ige ichire na gotera. Ige na gotera. And by the way, ah na ande ichirende. When you read Psalms, Psalms essentially means songs. That is it. You cannot say, let's open the book of Psalms. It is simply songs. Psalms. These people who wrote this book, I mean, when the Jews could worship during those days. They could simply go to church and sing from Psalms. When you read in the New Testament, it is about 
singing igere igoro jago tera if i quote very fast ngisa ko ko igoro ake you know what james says no my think ya kuba gatera is there any of you trouble ya kuba ringa ondo ino naro de no bakongo se ngata do you have a problem in your heart ne no gato bakongo se ngata keep a song in your heart bono tera ago tera se ngore yao so singing really bono ago tera manene is a call like another call igere okurangiri muna kurangiri kundi kwenze is a very special call manya okuno kurangiri kwa bene you cannot be literate to komo munto tamanyitia mangana if you have a gift of singing anya bogwa teke ukyo ago tera Like my sister who came all the way from Kenya. Bila muswati mintorio with Kenya. Sing for the Lord. Tere no mulinya sa. If you have the gift of singing my choir members. Wanya kubwate ka kyo tere choir. Sing for the Lord. Tere no mulinya sa. Those of us who can do well. Bali ba minto, bali bona akore bya. To sing by listening. Bali bona akore bya so go tere. Make us so so sing by listening. Nainu tere amategerere tebo. It's so good. Nainu go mbya mure. Because not everybody can sing. E kyara tari kyo munto ratere. No at some level. Now let me go to what the Bible says this morning. You see the book of Revelation in one statement as is about the church militant and the church triumphant. It's the church fighting. The church fighting with darkness in short during the first century Christians were so much persecuted. God in his wisdom gives his vision The John Nyasaka, the revelator. Nyasaka, John was taken to the island of Patmos. And then he wrote. He wrote to the seven churches in Asia Minor. The church at Ephesus. The church at Atlanta. The church at Simna. All those churches were literally there. And the Christians went through a great deal of persecution. He told them that behold, I come quickly. Do not give him. I come quickly. The church was going through a great deal of temptation. A great deal of trials. And this one was there to console them. This was the church fighting with the forces of darkness. And at the end of it all, it is the church coming out victorious. What did these people do? Let me read with you once more. Verse 2, and I saw what looked like a sea of glory. Mixed with the fire, and standing beside the sea, Those who had been victorious over the peace and his image. Over the number of his name. And they held herbs given them from God. And these herbs were of God. And they told that and they sang the song of Moses. It is the church that has become victorious they were tested so much to go against the will of God live around the numbers we are talking of 666 in simple times their faith was so much tested and they became victorious when we stand in the dark ages during the dark period Christians were persecuted a great deal. Others were persecuted upside down. Others were literally boiled in drums. But they stood for God. These are the kind of people that the Bible records that they were given the herbs of 
and by God. What were they doing with these herbs? What were they doing? What were they doing? What were they doing? They sang the song of Moses. I want to imagine somebody has his up there and somebody had another one here and so they started to sing. I doubt whether they were singing like this but I guess somebody was doing like this singing it was spontaneous this was spontaneous which song were they singing which song were they singing the song of Moses which was the song of Moses which was the song of Moses do you know the song of Moses when you read in the book of Exodus you know this is what John talks about the book of Exodus chapter 15 when God helped the Israelites to cross the Red Sea I mean it is there in black and white Moses and Miriam composed a song. Why did they compose a song? You know, when Pharaoh allowed the, the, the Israelites to leave, he thought he had made a mistake. He started to pursue them. He started to pursue them. That is what we read in the Bible. That before the Israelites, as they were walking to the promised land, before them, there was Red Sea. But the, threat, the red translation is the Sea of Reeds. There was a Red Sea. Behind them, they were being pursued by the soldiers and chariots. They were so much scared. That is why the Bible says that they cried to Moses. Why did you take us away from Egypt? They were groups in Egypt. Why do you want us to drown here? Then Moses told them, Stand still. You will see the victory of the Lord. You will see the victory of the Lord. So as the story goes, they continued and Moses got instructions from the Lord on what to do when he went right to this, the Red Sea. You know the water separated? They cruised over and the Egyptians were trying to do the same. The Bible says that God allowed the water to come over and the water swept them. Their chariots were stuck in the water. When they looked back, when they looked back, they composed a song of Moses. When they looked back, these guys who were pursuing us have been swallowed completely by the waters. We move Kondo la 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 na wale walio kombolewa wimbo uwe utayafuta majosi yetu yote tuliyo ya pata duni hani don't worry because it's music. We can sing in any way. We can say la 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 la. That is music. Don't worry. We can sing in any way. We can sing la 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 la. That is music. That is music. So we thank God for that. When these guys looked back, they composed a song. Guys, I want to tell you this morning. The song of Moses is not the song of Moses. The song of Moses is the song of Moses. The song of Moses is the song of Moses. The song of Moses is the song of Moses. The song of Moses is the song of Moses. The song of Moses an experience of salvation. 
It's out of that experience. Igere korwagwaso. Out of the experience of deliverance. Asamangana alia yogo tolek. So these people in the book of Revelation. The Bible says. And I want you to read very carefully. They sang the song of Moses. The song was about deliverance. It was about salvation from the hands of the Egyptians. And the song of the Lamb of God. John records Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. What is this song of the Lamb of God? It's about the salvation that we've got through Jesus Christ. So my good friends when you've got the experience of salvation there is no amount of intimidation that can hold you back to sing for the Lord. Because the song of Moses and the song of the Lamb were songs of triumph. Were songs of triumph. Do you keep a song in your heart? God has given you victory in many ways. Some of us will forget so fast. You know, we have experiences. When you, when you guys came here to America, including myself, you were really struggling, praying. But God, when I go for that interview and all that, these, these kids who are born here will not understand that. So that they can, uh, when you get here, uh, you start thinking of certain things, uh, certain temptations, certain trials, certain things, and you forget. Where God has brought you from. Have you ever composed the song of Moses? You may not sing exactly like Miriam did. You may not sing exactly like these guys who are singing the song of the Lamb. But it has to be the song of victory. Song of victory. My good friends, when it comes to singing, our singing, it must be should be about God because it is Him who has given you the ability to sing if you want to sing if you think you can sing using a drum after all what we does here these are drums filled there if you think you can use a drum if you think you can use uh, you know this eight stringed instrument yeah. Aha, if you can use that as long as you sing for the Lord as long as you sing for the Lord you know you can hold back singing if you've not seen what the Lord has done for you if you've not seen you will not you, I mean you will not make sense out of that each one of us has an history when you behold back and you see what the Lord has done for you I tell you my good friends there will be nobody to tell you that this is the way to sing it you are singing tenor you are singing soprano of course it's a good thing to do but you will sing in whichever way others will sing facing southwards others will sing facing this way others will sing facing this way others will sing sitting because all of us 
will be praising God. I want to challenge you this afternoon. That me, our singing, be about God and be of God because the harps we are using, we have been given by God. The ability to sing has been planted in us by God. Has been planted in us by God. Let us sing for God. Let us sing for the Lord. I don't care. I don't mind what you will say. Because the truth must be said. The truth must be said. We must sing for the Lord. You know, some of you are wondering whether I'm a pastor. When I speak like this, but you see, still I'm a pastor. And I will remain to be one. There is nothing you can do about it. This is a call that God has given to every person. And so when I speak like this, I am very well aware of the church position on this. But I am saying what the Bible says. You know, we, we appreciate in the church we have conservatives and uh, reapers. We appreciate that. But you see, we are saying what the Bible says. The Bible says, sing for who? Sing for who? Sing for who? Which song do you gonna sing? The song of Moses and the son of war. Sing song uh, This is 633. Can you open there? I know when we all get to heaven sing the wondrous love of Jesus sing his mercy and his grace when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be don't worry even when you don't know how to sing here don't worry, engineer. When you get to heaven, I don't know how it will be like, but God will give you a way to sing. Because in heaven, it will be about singing. I want men to do the first, the first stanza. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, he will prepare for us a place. Okay. But I want to doubt men may give us a very bad start maybe like me you know. okay men do you trust okay. yourself okay okay there you are okay okay three go okay three go of jesus singing all of us twins when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see jesus we will sing Song of victory. Ladies, number two. Ah, <laughs> Sing. Better. All of us. Twenty. Oh. 
get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus. We'll sing and shout the victory. All of us, number three. Yes. And faithful trust in serving every day. Just one glimpse of him in glory. Will that to those of us. Okay. Togo i kai go. Mago kyo ki ora be. Okay, wait, 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 Okay, stanza three, all of us. Let us through our life to our unfaithful serving. Just one glimpse of Him is glory. Tolo i kai goro mago kaki yora be togo i kai goro victory victory. Okay, number four. On one. For a soon his beauty will be gone. Soon to appear in can we open We shall tread the streets of God When we all get to heaven What a joy of rejoicing that we be when we all sing Jesus, we will sing a shout of victory, victory. My dear friends, it will be a great joy to get to heaven someday. We will be singing in heaven. We will be holding the wondrous love of Jesus. I want to thank the Lord because of His word. And I look forward that one day, as we look forward to get to heaven, that I may be one of those people that will sing the song of Moses because of the victory of a sin that my God will have given me. I want to invite you this afternoon. Are you willing to share that experience? Do you long to be to heaven someday and sing with the Lord? We will sing with the Lord. He will be our choir master. I belong to that particular group and I long to get to heaven because it will be a great day to see we will forget about the problems we've had in this world we will forget about these problems and we will sing for the Lord I want to invite you my brother, my sister we see you this afternoon may we accept the call to come victorious so that together we can behold the victory of the Lord because that victory is assured I look forward to get to heaven and sing 
and sing. I don't know how I will sing. But one thing for a fact. I know I will sing. How I will sing. I am not very sure. It is not certain on how I will sing. But I know I will sing good. Because God will give me victory. And he will give me the way to sing for him. May our loving God in heaven. Bless us his children. So that we may know how to praise him. And sing for the Lord. And sing for the Lord. Because it is good to sing for the Lord. God bless us in Jesus name. Now let's sing this song. Let's sing this song. Let us pray. Our Father, we want to thank you because of the bless of music in worship. We thank you because of your loving kindness that even when we are trodden by the power of sin, we have victory in your name. Lord, we want to thank you for the blessing of music to your church. We look forward. When we will join the group of victors to sing for you. Till then, we want to commit ourselves unto you that God, you may safeguard our faith and we stand and wait for that day when we will sing the song of Moses and the Lamb of God. May you bless us, cut us in faith, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.